French luxury brand, best known for its crystal, has built a lifestyle empire. Al Samara shows us some of the pieces that have made Lalique world famous in tonight's Lap of Luxury. Welcome to the Lap of Luxury. I'm Allison Morris. This week we visit French luxury brand Lalique. Perhaps best known for its crystal, Lalique began in the 1800s with René Lalique, a Parisian jeweler. René Lalique was a uh, truly a visionary and innovator in so many ways. Uh, was known to be uh, uh, very avant-garde, very edgy, uh, pushed boundaries, wanted to create shock and create things that were never seen before. He started as a jeweler and uh, truly revolutionized how jewelry was made at the time. He was known to mix uh, materials, you know, precious stones, unusual materials. Mixing materials and finishes, René Lalique's trademark. Lalique is characterized by uh, the combination of a satin finish and clear crystal that really creates uh, a movement and depth uh, when you look at it. If you've never heard of the brand, you've likely seen its signature pieces. The Bacante vase, which is uh, one of the most iconic pieces that are known by René Lalique, a piece that was designed in the uh, early 20s and a piece that continues to be our number one selling piece today. In the early 1900s, René Lalique established himself as a revolutionary glassmaker. Partnering with famed perfumer Francois Cody, he created the first luxurious bottles to come with perfumes. René Lalique's glasswork was so extraordinary, he was commissioned to work on the French presidential train, the Côte d'Azur Pullman Express, and the Normandy luxury liner. René Lalique passed away, unfortunately, in 1945, but his son, uh, Marc Lalique, uh, took over the uh, legacy and he continued with the evolution of the, the brand. He also uh, uh, changed the, from being a glass to crystal. He added lead to the glass, which gives it a sparkle. Among Marc Lalique's famous crystal designs, the cactus table, the Champs-Élysées bowl, the Langer collection of stemware. This is the iconic uh, Langer collection. Also has a very long history. And this glass here is uh, Karl Lagerfeld's favorite. That's what he drinks his Diet Coke from. After Marc Lalique's passing, Marie Claude, René's daughter, took over. In the early 90s, she created the very first Lalique fragrances, which are now a staple of the brand. Today, Lalique is a French uh, luxury lifestyle brand that comprises of five uh, divisions or five pillars. Uh, the decorative objects, uh, interiors, uh, jewelry, fragrance, and uh, art. The art division started in 2011 with Yves Klein's Victoire de Semethresse, created using the Sire Perdue, or lost wax technique. In summary, it means that the, in order for the piece to be born, you have to destroy the, the, the melt the wax uh, mold. Uh, so it's not made out of cast, it's made out of wax. And in order for you to replicate the piece, you have to recreate the wax mold all over again. So it's truly a unique one-of-a-kind piece. That one-of-a-kind piece, $190,000. Today, Lalique Art includes a series of limited edition butterfly panels by Damien Hurst, a collection of vases inspired by the late Zaha Hadid's architecture, and Elton John's Music is Love designs, which raised over $400,000 for the Elton John AIDS Foundation at the Oscars this year. Lalique's outstanding collaborations extend even into tableware. Wine connoisseur James Suckling helped create their stunning 100 points universal glass, designed to enhance any type of wine. They've even designed limited edition crystal bottles for Patron and Macallan, and entered the hospitality business with their own luxury hotel in France. Most recently, we took the original home of René Lalique and turned it into a hotel called Villa Lalique. They've opened a wonderful, small hotel, which has gotten, the restaurant's gotten two Michelin stars. It actually won Best of the Best hotel in the Rob Report's June Best of the Best issue. So they clearly are trying to cover all of the bases of, of a luxury lifestyle. With rooms starting at 350 euros, Villa Lalique is fully booked until next spring. If you're able to land a coveted stay there, you can visit the Lalique Museum to further explore the brand's storied history and experience luxury the Lalique way. Luxury is truly, a, it's a dream, it's not a need, it's not something that uh, you need to have, but you, it's something that you want. Thanks so much for joining us at Lalique. I'm Allison Morris, I'll see you next time on The Lap of Luxury.